All right, everybody, what's happening? This is gonna be a load securement video, or this is a load securement video, I should say, on steel coil rods, suicide loaded. All right, there's a couple different variants you guys can get out on the road. This one is one of the most typical ones you guys will get. This is a suicide, which means the eyes of the coils are to the side of the load. You have your shotgun, which is eyes towards the front of the truck, or towards the truck. All right, those are usually the two variants you guys are gonna get. Most commonly, when you get something like this, it's gonna be between 10 to 11. It can vary, but typically you're looking at about 10 to 11. This one right here is an 11 count, which is perfect. Uh, so what I'm gonna do in this week's video is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take this apart, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to put it together. So then that way, when you guys are out on the road, if you ever get load just like this, you guys know what to do. Uh, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, Welcome to the channel. You're officially part of the LG family. It's great for you guys to be here. Uh, you don't have to subscribe to be a part of the LG family, but it'd be greatly appreciated if you did because it definitely helps out the channel. Thanks. And for those of you returning week after week that have watched my vlogs, my Tuesday dumps, and now load securement videos, uh, I'm super glad you guys are here. It's, uh, it's a little cold out. <laughs> it's, it's January 1st, what can I say? Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do is, like I said, I'm gonna break this down and we're gonna put it back together and you guys are gonna see how to do it. All right, cool. Take this load apart, all right? Straps, tarps, the whole, whole kit caboodle. Let's see my screen. All right, uh, a couple things you guys are gonna notice. One, what's this white stuff on the trailer, right? Snow, there's already snow on the load. So you think to yourself, all right, well, if there's snow on the load, and I just saw you take the tarp off, it means you tarped a snowy load. And you're correct, I did. I did tarp a load with snow on it. That much is obvious. <laughs> All right, the reason for that is during the winter, you guys already know, but they put road salt and all that stuff down on the roads and uh, you don't want all that on your product. You're, you don't want to be covering this all in road salt, then it's gonna start eroding and all that good stuff. Well, bad stuff actually. So uh, during the winter, you're, uh, you're gonna tarp these loads. All right, these are typically a non-tarp load um, because when you go to these plants, and uh, you've, you've seen me pick up from this place numerous times. If you watch my vlogs, I'll put a link up there for you guys. But all this stuff sits outside. Obviously, that's how I got the snow on it, right? Because it's already been sitting outside. But because I'm going to be taking it across state lines, doing uh, all this interstate driving, it's going to get salt. So you got to tarp it. That's just how it goes. All right? Keep that in mind. Just because you didn't tarp it during the summer doesn't mean that you're not gonna have to tarp it during the winter. Stop arguing about it. God. All right, a couple other things before I show you everything that we're gonna need to actually secure this load. When you're setting up, prepping for the load, there's a couple other things you need to do, all right? First things first, you gotta build a couple pockets. All right, and what I mean by pocket is this right here. All right, see this, see that, see this, see this, that's a pocket. What I got right here underneath the coil is I got two coil racks. Coil rack one, coil rack two. All right, and then obviously when you're using coil racks, you're gonna use some timber. Timber one, timber two. Pretty easy, see? Now you can see 
coil, all right, your coil is in the pocket. That's what you want. Now, when you're hauling something like this, especially with a long load like this, you're not gonna have enough to build it for every single coil, obviously. So you're gonna build one from the back one, and you're gonna build another one all the way up here. All right, exact same setup. To secure this load of coil, steel coil rods, suicide, you're gonna need a few things, right? So what I already have right here, it's already preset, set up, ready to go. What I need is I need five, four inches per side. So here's five. There's five. Then I'm going to need one two inch per side. So there's one. And then the other one's over there. Right there. All right. And then you're going to need your ratchet for your two inch strap. So here's one. The other one right over there. And then, obviously, because this is a tarp load, you're going to need a couple of tarps over there. There's your tarps. And then you're going to need bungees. Secure tires. <laughs> All right. So that's what we're going to use to secure this load. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to my GoPro. All right. And uh, I'm going to show you guys POV style on how to secure this load with all that equipment. GoPro is on. So we're going to switch over to GoPro mode and uh, show you guys how to secure this. All right. So whenever I go to secure a load, I always start on the driver's side. One of the things that I talked to you guys in a Tuesday dump before was talking about setup and repetition, all right? As you guys saw, this is my setup, now my repetition. So that way I already know how I'm gonna attack this load. And if you haven't watched that video, I'll put a link up in the corner so you guys can check out that Tuesday dump. Starting from the front of the load on the driver's side, all right? Now what I want to do is I want more than half of this load pulling towards the back. The reason for that is you can never go backwards fast enough to make the load to go off the back. However, you can go fast enough forward and hit the brakes and make the load want to go forward. Now who's sitting in the front? I'm sitting in the front and obviously I don't want this entire load in my butt. That wouldn't be good. I don't want to be squishy squishy. So I'm going to take more than half of this I'm going to pull it backwards. So that means the first six I'm gonna pull backwards and the last ones I'm gonna pull forward. Now you're also gonna alternate the straps. There's a reason for alternating the straps and I'll show you guys that in a second. So what I'm gonna do is we call it a butterfly strap. So I'm gonna take my strap, boop, I'm gonna throw it straight through and I'm gonna pull it at an angle. And usually when I aim for hooks, I want it just past the front of the next coil. It's so usually what I'm aiming for is right about here. I don't usually aim for about here. I want about right here. All right, so that way I know it's pulling backwards. Now I'm just gonna do the same thing again, a couple more times, but I'm alternating. So there's one, skip, here's one. Throw it through, again, I'm aiming for right past the load, not in the center. Skip, next one. Oh, this is another thing too. Watch out for bindings. Sometimes that likes to come undone when we're going down the road. That's why they have multiple bindings as you guys can see. All right, cool. Again, angle. You guys starting to see a pattern here, right? Not in the center, just pass. And again, this is 11 and I want more than half to pull backwards. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that means this one's going to pull backwards and that's going to be your first six, which means this one is going to start your pull towards the front. So throw it through, pull towards the front. Holy cow, easy concept. Again, I'm not centered. I'm pulling towards the back because now I'm considering this kind of like technically like the front of the load. So I'm right back here. Skip, because I'm alternating. Boom, right here. Cool. Now, as you see, I already have one side already thrown, right? Because I'm all by myself. So I threw this side. Now, repetition, I'm gonna come around the corner. Now, we're gonna set up for butterflies. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this strap right here I'm just gonna throw it through. All right. Because this strap right here is gonna choke these two coils together. That's what I'm aiming for, right? Because I'm gonna do a butterfly. 
and you want to make sure that you don't have any twists in it as well too again here's the next one Take it through, make sure I don't have any twists. All right, so I re -threw the straps. Now I'm gonna start going back down this side. I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did before. All right. Perfect, straps have now been thrown on this side. Again, repetition. Holy pajamas, look at that. Got all these straps on this side. Well, let's work some magic. I'm just gonna go right back down the line. Now, these are the ones that I threw from the other side to start with. So, take them. Ah! Making me look like a fool. There we go. No twists. Now, notice how this is one of the ones that we already threw through. Thrown through, 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 thrown through. I don't know, English. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this up as a butterfly. The proper way to do a butterfly is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this strap that we just threw back through, right? This part of the strap. And I'm gonna go underneath this strap right here. Take it underneath. Perfect. Now again, double check. All right, no twists, no twists. Twists are bad, we don't like twists. Now the strap's underneath, see that? So I'm gonna take this strap, ball it back up, throw it back through. Make sure, keep all the twists out. And just run it underneath like that. And I'll explain why we do like that, I'll explain while we do it like that in a second, I'm just gonna finish throwing all my straps. So all the straps have been thrown. As you can see, cool beans. Awesome. Now I'm walking back around the back of the trailer to finish these straps up. All right, same thing as before. These go under. Yummy. And then chug it back through. I like to set this up underneath the strap so way it holds it and you don't get a twist. Alright, so this is the strap earlier. Alright. So you'll notice straps underneath. We threw it back through, see how it makes an X. I want that X to sit towards the center of that coil. It's the same thing that I'm gonna be looking for on this strap. I'm gonna pull this back through, I'm gonna put it on the center. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna run it back to the exact same pocket that I had the hook set up over there. Which again, is easy to remember because I don't set up in the center. I center up, boop, right here so I know goes right here see how that works goes right here cool but this is why I went back around to come up this way so I can finish throwing these straps through and while I'm doing that I can put these straps on their wenches crazy all right so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna throw these straps I'm gonna put these straps on the wenches I'll be right back with you guys all right so there we go this whole side is officially done. We are good to go to tighten down. Axes are sitting in the center of the ones that are done. As you can see, these are the ones I gotta fix. <laughs> All right, but I am good to go down and tighten this whole side. Now, the reason why you put this strap underneath this strap is because when I go to tighten this strap, this will tighten with it. But if this strap was over the top of this strap, which is all the same damn strap, but if this was over this part of the strap, this would tighten, and which would cinch this down, and you wouldn't be able to tighten this part of the, top of the strap. All right, so that's why we put the strap underneath this part of the strap. So when I tighten the strap, this will tighten with this, and it'll tighten the whole strap. You guys understand? 
Cool. <laughs> Yay! Stirrup is nice and tight. See? See how this is cinched? Or this is nice and tight. And you can see that this one's nice and tight too. Alright, that's what you're looking for. I'm gonna finish down real quick. Catch you guys on the other side. Alright. So the other, uh, other side is done. So all we got is this side. Easy. All right, in case you can't get the X towards the center, right? You get in this predicament, just grab it, loosen it, give it a little tug, and now you're in the center. All right, easy. <sighs> toit, again, toit, toit. Seeing it, seeing it, seeing how it's tightening up. Perfect. All right. Perfect. Done. All right, four inches are on. We've alternated all our four inches, as you can see. X's are sitting in the center of the coils, looking all pretty. We got our first six pulling away from your butt. Last four. Wait, one, two, three. Yeah, four. <laughs> Wait, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, dummy. Six pulling this way, four pulling this way. Perfect. In case someone, just, some four wheeler decides to cut you off, then you gotta hit your brakes so you don't put your 75,000 pound ass in the back of them because, you know, they're a jackass. You don't have to worry about this going in the back of your butt. Cool. Now, the two inches. These. All right, well, we're gonna use these for us to make A straps. Your A straps are gonna go in your front and your back coil. What these are for is just strictly to help hold this coil and this pocket. Now you have all these straps choking all the way down, butterfly straps choking all the way down. They're counteracting each other, so they're gonna help keep these coils into place. These coils aren't gonna go anywhere. These coils are so heavy, technically, if it wasn't for turning, <laughs> you could you could drive and these wouldn't fall off. They're so heavy, which is nice. But you put these straps on there, obviously, because you're going to be making turns and you don't want them to come off when you're doing your turns, right? So this, your two inch strap, you're going to put one in the front, put one in the back, just to keep this in that pocket. It's the whole purpose. That's all this is for. All I'm going to do is throw it through in the center. Okay, in the center, hooked up. Cool. Now, I'm gonna come on up here. Take said strap. Put a twist in it. And I'll show you why in a second. Run it across the top. Like so. Whoa, almost got myself. <laughs> right. And then, I'm simply going to take this strap, throw it back there. Cool. Cool. Now, let's safely get down. Alright, so you see how it's got an X going through the center now? The reason why, I put a twist in there, is because I'm going to go to secure this. You see, now the straps aren't, aren't rubbing on themselves. Some people that's an issue, some people it's not an issue. So, uh, shooter's preference, do what you wanna do. But this is what you're shooting for. So again, this is what you're looking for and all that good jazz. Now, you have your two inch ratchet. Take said two inch strap. And I find it's better if you walk out here, feed it through first, then walk it back towards the load. Shooter's preference. <laughs> all right. Hook it up, done hooked, pull out all the slack, tighten it down. Cool. Now, of course, this load's gonna be tarped. So I'm just gonna take the strap. I'm just gonna throw it there. Not in too fancy. It's gonna be under the tarp, not a big deal. 
again, two inch strut. Now we're gonna go to the back. And there. Bada bang, bada boom, done. That's it, that's how you secure the entire look. Easy, again, you got 11 coils, it's gonna take you 10 straps, five per side as you guys have seen. Alternate your straps, set them up as butterflies, as you just saw, tighten those down, A strap or X strap, whatever way you wanna call it, through the center of your front, through your back, and now your load is done. That's it, that's how you do it. That's it for this video. This was not a tarping video, so I'm not gonna show you guys how to tarp it in this video. I will show you guys in a separate video because it's starting to get cold. I can't feel my fingertips and I'm hungry. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, let's see, can we find a spot? Ooh, that, that wasn't a good idea at all. <laughs> I don't know. See if you see a reflection. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully you guys found this video video useful. If you did, hit the like button. Helps helps out the channel. If you haven't already, I highly suggest you guys subscribe. You know, uh, I plan on doing a lot more securement videos in the future, and uh, that way you guys keep up to date when I drop some more and share. If you guys could definitely hit that share button, share this video with your other friends. If they don't know how to secure the coil, all right, show them this video. This is what I make this video for. It's for you new drivers and experienced drivers who have never hauled this stuff before. This is to help you guys. I, again, have done this load, exaggerating, but like a bajillion times, all right? This works. I've never had the load move. It's never shifted on me. This will get you from A to B safely and securely. I 100% guarantee. Um, I teach my, my trainees this, my trainer taught me this, but that's it, catch you guys uh, in another video, <laughs> I don't know, later.